Hey guys, it's Birdman coming to you again. Got another subject people like to talk about. Maybe some of them don't understand. But cage bound. What is cage bound? Well, cage bound is typically when a bird is more secure in the cage than it is in the surrounding environment. So, you know, you get this bird, you go rescue this bird from somebody, you open the cage up, see if he's going to come out, give him a little freedom. The bird won't come out. So you're kind of like, well, what am I going to do to get him out? Don't. First of all, don't get him out. Give him time. Okay? Especially a rescue bird because you don't know how long that bird has been in that cage. He could have been in that cage for years. Now, to help with this, you may want to change the cage. Give the bird a larger cage or a completely different cage than what it's been in all along. This may reduce some of the problems and some of the emotional stress of being cage bound because in that bird's world, the only security that he may have is that cage. You know, that's where he feels the safest, that's where the world leaves him alone, doesn't mess with him. So, you know, change that a little bit. You know, you don't want to frighten him, you don't want to upset him, that's not the issue. The issue is that the bird needs to understand that the environment he's in today is not the environment that he was in in the past. So, you may want to end the cage bound by introducing a new cage. Leave the door open. On the old cage, if that's what you, you know, you, you like the size of the cage, you think it's a good adequate cage, leave the door open, give the bird time. It may take a day, it may take a week before the bird comes out. Eventually the bird will come out. Remember, that's his territory, so when you stick your hand up to that cage, he may nail you. You know, at some point you're going to have, if he's cage bound, get him out of the cage, at some point you've got to get him off the cage. Once you get him off the cage and onto a secondary perch or a tea perch or a place stand or something else, you know, then you can begin to work with him a little bit. And you can begin to, you know, to deal with some of the issues that he's having from being cage bound for so long. Sometimes these birds, because they're so cage bound and have been in that cage for so long, you know, he may step on a stick. You might want to get you a, you know, a perch like the size of a broom handle if he's a fairly big, big bird, or if he's a small bird, you know, something the size of a pencil, or you know, whatever size his feet are accustomed to or would fit on normally. Get you a stick, maybe this long, you know, something where he can't get right a hold of your hand. You don't want a stick this long because it may get you bit, especially with a large bird. But you know, get you an adequate perch, put it up to the bird in the cage, and just see if he'll step out. Now, if he's freaking out, okay, back off. Give him a little time. Let him calm down, you know. But some birds are what they call stick trained. They won't come out of their cage unless they step onto a stick. So people open the door, they put a stick in there because the bird's a biter, but he'll step on a stick without biting you. So you may want to get him out with a stick. Now, if time goes on, the bird's still cage bound, you can't get him to come out of the cage, you can't get him to come out. This is unhealthy for the bird. So you're going to have to do a little bit more to try to get the bird out. You may have to towel the bird. Yeah, the bird's going to freak out. When I say towel him, I don't mean jump up in there and just try to get him. But, you know, take a towel, dish rag towel that gets, that's a small bird, a full-size towel if he bites big, fold it in half where it's a lot thicker, where he can't get a hold of your meat, and, and towel it. You know, make sure his wings are in so that he doesn't get damaged. A lot of birds will flip on their back. You know, and they'll try to get at you with their feet and their mouth. You throw the towel on, you, you can tell when they roll over and you can grab them. You know, of course, you got to get the head because they'll bite you. You know, you can hold them right here, not squeezing the throat. Just hold them under that jaw, that beak, so they can't bite you. Or right here on the back of the head, you know, like this with his head in your hand like this where he can't get you. A lot of times I'll put this finger and this finger right under the edge of his beak when I'm holding him from the back so that he can't bite me. There's no pain, there's no pressure there other than just to hold the bird and to hold the head so that he doesn't bite a hole in you. But you may need to towel the bird. You may need to get it out uh, and put it on a perch. You may need, probably will need to clip its wings because once he gets out, he's not been out in a long time, he's going to freak out. More than likely the bird's going to freak out some. But being cage bound is unhealthy for birds. So you need to do what you can to get this bird out, whether it's you know, clipping its wings and toweling it, whether it's using a stick to get it to stand up and let it out, whatever it is, you still need to get this bird out because uh, a lot of birds are cage bound. I mean, we had a bird that, that came to us just as an example. It was an Amazon, had been in a cage literally this big around, 
you know, we had to buy this bird. Nobody gave it to us. I'm just, just giving you a reference. The cage was maybe this tall, this big around, one of those round dome cages. You know, like you'd see in a movie or something, a little small cage, which was too small for the bird. The bird couldn't even open its wings without beating on the side of the cage. It had one perch in there, in the middle, a food and a water cup, and that bird was not being fed, fed the proper diet either, but that's another issue. But whenever we, whenever we finally got this bird out, we changed his caging into a 10-foot into a, a cage, his feet were like this. He, he had been on that perch so long that his feet were like this. So, and he was cage bound as well. So it'll take time, it'll take some effort. Eventually, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do if you wanna help the bird. Leaving it in a small cage, just saying, oh, he's too crazy, he's too mean. You know, I can't handle him. If you can't handle him, find somebody that can. I mean, that's no life for the bird to live, being in that small cage or in a cage, you know, and never being able to come out. If you want to rescue the bird, you want to make him a pet, try to do what you can to keep you from being cage bound. Just remember, that's his territory. Don't try to do too much with him in the cage, especially if he's a rescue bird. And when you're working with a bird like that, you know, try to keep your time down to 10 minutes. They're like a kid. You know, they don't have the retention of an adult in their time. So work with him a little bit, let him rest. Leave him alone, let him calm down, have his own you know, time back to itself, then go back 30 minutes later, an hour later, the next day, if that's what it, whatever, and mess with him a little bit more trying to get him out. Eventually, you'll figure out where he's at in this whole thing and whether he wants to come out, whether he don't, and whether you're going to have to make him come out. This is a big issue, especially with rescue birds. You know, you need to do everything you can to give that bird the best life possible because you never know where he's been or what situation he's been in before. Some rescues will take the time to go ahead and, and break the bird of the cage-bound habit, you know, and get the bird out. But you may be rescuing a bird from an individual. So, you know, even though you buy the bird, you know, call it a rescue or whatever, and you are rescuing it from the situation that it may have been in, uh, bear in mind that this is a time-sensitive thing. It takes time. You have to work with them on short periods of time. Um, but you have to get them out of that cage. You know, giving them a new cage a lot of times changes things. It really does. You know, it'll, it'll change the mentality of the bird. But he can still be cage bound even in his new cage. If your bird's a bird that is a pet bird, great. Some birds will not be pet birds. Just love him for who it is. Talk to him. You know, you may not be able to handle him. Some of them will take it, some of them won't. We have birds here that will, I don't feel they will never be pet birds. We've had multiple people try to handle them over time, you know, and all they want to do is they'll talk to you and everything. They'll come down and interact, but if you put your hand in there, they will make you bleed. So that may be one of the birds that you have. If, if, if that's the case, I do encourage you to get the bird out of the cage. Get it to a, something neutral like a play stand or a play gym, you know, that's not territorial, and try try and work with it a few times you know if all the bird wants to do is fly around the room well in order to get control over it you're going to have to clip its wings and it's a controversial subject people get all freaked out oh you're hurting the bird well it doesn't hurt me when i get my hair cut even though i don't have a lot don't hurt my fingernails when you trim them it's no different from the bird you know you clip the wings you're trying to keep him from getting himself hurt because he's freaking out and you're trying to uh, let him understand that you're not there to hurt him that you're there to to be a companion and a friend so take your time. Be patient. You know, the bird still needs you regardless whether he'll ever be a pet bird or whether he won't. If you're looking for that hand bird and the bird's not going to be a hand bird, find him a permanent home. Somebody that understands the bird and understands that that bird is never going to be a pet bird or at least never going to be a pet bird to you. So there again, if you have any questions, comment below. I try to answer any of them, you know. Uh, this is a really controversial subject. It's a hot subject because people really need to understand this. You know, meanwhile, remember to subscribe to our channel for some great tips and updates at Bird World. Be sure to check out some of our other videos because, you know, we got some good ones just like this one. We're trying to help people all that we can. Remember to keep living the bird life. It's Birdman. I see you.